Hello, hello, my beauty team. Yes, this is Katerina, and I'm your favorite Nordstrom beauty stylist. Yes, welcome to. Oh, what I should, I should say, hello. This is it's a brand new MAC eyeshadow palette. We actually just got a brand new whole entire collection with MAC from MAC. S like three big eyeshadow palettes like this, 54, I believe, dollars. And smaller is 34. Of course, I will make video for all these eyeshadow palettes. Again, this is it's so pretty. And uh, you know, like my daughter, who's like teenager, she always tell me, Mom, your makeup always looks the same. This is not the same, but I feel I still still look classy and elegant even with this beautiful bright green eyeshadow oh it's so pretty i'm coming close to you yeah look at my eyes they look so pretty and my skin looks amazing you will see me with makeup and without makeup yes um, i don't have a perfect skin but i know how to make my skin look beautiful right <laughs> Please subscribe my YouTube channel and let's start. Before we're gonna use this eyeshadow palette, let me take care of my skin. My daughter sometimes joking, mom, you old lady. Let me take care of old lady skin. <laughs> oh, Faith, you know I'm allergic to so many products and I will just try to use a minimum skin care. I am, I went to dermatologist, we're working, we're working on my skin because I wanna look good, but this is, it's a pro, approved by me kills ultra facial toner it's 24 25 dollars it's a good hydration fragrance free. when you wash your face your face unbalanced to balance you need to use toner toner first then i'm gonna use brand new hydrating with niacinamide with hyaluronic serum from mac it's serum come to your skin much more deeper than any moisturizer and then i will use oops, sorry moisturizer and i will use its uh, moisturizer 24 hour hydration uh, with collagen firming moisturizer from brand uh, first at beauty it's very very creamy rich it's fragrance free i really like this moisturizer i know it's not too expensive of course i will list it below this products and for my eye area i actually gonna use the first serum on my eye area and this is it's la Plur. it's very very expensive eye cream but it's a firming lifting and i kind of see see difference right away use this morning and night and then i will put my moisturizer and believe me not i will use this moisturizer for face and eyes it's not wrong to use same moisturizer for face and eyes of course i will not use moisturizer which one have a lot of lot of perfume in my eye but this is it's fragrance free okay let's take care of my skin first This is its brand brand new serum. Let me try. No, it's not expensive. Again, I will list it below all products. Also, what I do right now when I shoot a video, I'm making like a short video and you will see on Instagram or you can see sometimes on YouTube, but 100% I always put on Instagram. You see, look, you like it. You know, video is coming next week or next two weeks. Um, and um, if you like it give me thumbs up and I really really appreciate your love support and uh, you know what we slowly little by little we grow in but you know it's okay with me I uh, you see me right now old uh, soon you're gonna see me 15 mi uh, <clears throat> in 15 minutes uh, 10 years younger so this is what important i'm not fake po person i don't have this fillers borax everywhere like it is what it is but i'm teaching you how to look young and pretty you know i like to talk give me thumbs up subscribe my youtube channel <laughs> Oh, 
apply serum it feels really really good i like how it smells but i know for my skin scent it's not the best <laughs> product now i'm gonna use primer this is primer from makeup forever it's 24 hour hydration but it's a perfect perfect primer for people who have large pores and i know i have large pores right here i have large pores right here and right here this is where i apply my primer if you see i have still discoloration pigmentation i have a little bit surgery here we're gonna cover but i'm gonna use beauty blender and today i'm gonna use my favorite foundation estee lauder the most like 99.9 .9 people will ask me what foundation are you wearing double wear if i want my skin look the best it's double wear and my color it's two and one no guys what do you think it's a huge huge difference right <laughs> i'm not even yet blend like perfectly but i just want you to look at this side and this side yes it's double wear if you little bit dry you can actually put like a serum and mix it or put a very very good hydration serum underneath um, and moisturizer and very good hydrating primer also i'll put little bit foundation on my eyelid for my concealer i'm gonna use brand it bye bye under eye concealer it's a full full coverage concealer it's very creamy very rich in it very little it's gonna cover this and it's gonna cover my dark circles i plan very very little I'm using my Chanel double end brush. This is it's a good for eyeshadow, for concealer. It's one of my favorite Chanel brush. You can see it's covered really, really good. For my eyes, I'm actually going to use a little bit finger because it's very creamy, um, very well safe, even heavy feels concealer. And I'm just going to apply right here on the corner and I'm going to just warm this product with my little finger. I forgot to mention my concealer color it's 13.8 light medium but I can actually go I believe with two color uh, medium again I need to little bit warm this color and I'm just applying underneath so far this product it's make my skin flawless beautiful and young and you don't see no more discoloration and pigmentation approve <laughs> now let's use bronze and i'm gonna use brand new limited edition armani foundation oh sorry bronze now i'm gonna use liquid bronze from Giorgio armani yes i make a little samples for me to see if i like this product or not and i do like it and let me show you how to use it is limited edition i will list it below this liquid bronze it's Giorgio armani again create just for the summer I apply a little bit, little bit bronze in my nose. I don't like too harsh, too noticeable, like contouring nose. And then I'm gonna, I just apply a little bit, little bit bronze. And then I'm gonna apply a little bit powder. We're gonna leave, I will say like bake. And this is will look way more natural than like you truly like spend it one hour to contour your nose. Now I'm gonna use loose powder from MAC. Girls, bye bye. I really like this powder. It's give me nice, beautiful, even I'll say a little bit glow look. Absolutely in love with this loose powder and my color it's light.
and I apply this powder just in the center of my face. I'm gonna use small tiny brush from NARS. It's my favorite for the eyes and for the face. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this powder and I'm just gonna put a little bit on the center of my nose. Very, very little. Now, same powder, I'm gonna put just a little bit, little bit on my top and I'm gonna use my beauty blender. I'm gonna just dip to this powder and I'm gonna use underneath. Just a little bit, I want a clean look today. Now I'm gonna use my favorite primer from MAC Painterly. It's have a color, it's gonna make my shadow stay all day, not run, not crease, and will give me this intensity for grab eyeshadow color. Now I'm gonna use my eyebrow pencil from Christian Dior and I'm just gonna little bit, little bit fill my eyebrows. Eyebrows done, eyeshadow primer it's there. I'm gonna use white pencil from MAC and I'm just gonna put a little bit under my brow. And now I'm gonna just slightly a little bit blend with my Chanel brush. Now I have cream eyeshadow from Bobbi Brown and it's color vanilla and I'm gonna apply on my low lid. And now I'm gonna just slightly little bit blend this. And now my eyelid it's ready for eyeshadow application. I have a flat flat brush and I'm gonna use this beautiful like it's a beautiful green color, bright light green color. And I'm just gonna just press, press, press this uh, eyeshadow on my eyelid. Why I apply this eyeshadow primer? Because this is color, even it looks intense, but it's not too intense to apply for the eye area. And when you apply underneath cream shadow, it's gonna bring a little bit more color. I apply a couple times to build, build color. Wow, it's so pretty. We're done with this green eyeshadow again. You can see it's on my low lid and you need to reapply, sorry, a couple times because it's not as pigmented like you think. Now I have a big blending brush and we're gonna use this beautiful yellow color. This yellow color, I'm gonna just apply a little bit in the corner right here. Oh, it's a little bit more pigmented than green. I apply in the corner this yellow color and I'm just a little bit, little bit blend and making my middle color. Wow, it's very pretty, very subtle. And if you're scared to use color, just these two colors already look beautiful on me. I'm gonna a little bit remove this powder from my nose to just make me a little bit feel awkward and underneath. It's enough to bake and you can see it looks very, very natural, very clean. Now I have small tiny brush from NARS and we're gonna use this beautiful like a teal blue color. And I'm gonna apply very, very close to my lashes and I'm gonna apply in a corner. And I plan a little bit, little bit above my suckle area. This actually color very pigmented. I'm gonna use clean blending brush and I'm just gonna little bit blend this teal color. Again, a little bit more the steel color I apply right here on the corner. I'm 
gonna use a little bit more this yellow color i'm gonna just add a little bit more in the corner it is definitely connect in color palettes this is how i will name <laughs> this palette too because it's a lot of nice colors and don't be scared look we use green we have blue teal we use yellow we're gonna use white it's so pretty I'm gonna use small tiny brush and we're gonna use now white eyeshadow. I'm gonna apply a little bit, little bit under my brow bone. It is very, very pigmented. I love this white color. Same white color, I'm gonna put a little bit right here in the corner. All I will say, don't be scared of these colors, they are beautiful. I still look classy and very young. What do you think? I want my eye look a little bit bigger. I'm gonna use my small blending brush from North and we're gonna use this beautiful green color underneath. And now if you look at one my eye and another, this is small detail underneath when I apply it with eyeshadow. It's make your eye more open, my bigger, more sexy. It is very beautiful. And again, I still look classy. I still look elegant. It's not too much. Girls, don't be scary colors. Now I have a small tiny brush from Bobbi Brown, it's eye definer and we're gonna use this beautiful teal color, I'm gonna apply very close on the bottom to my lashes. Now I have a big blending brush and I'm just gonna slightly little bit blend this color. Now it's time for clean up a little bit again. I'm going back to my loose powder from MAC. I love this loose powder. And I'm gonna just put a little bit on top. Gonna use my beauty blender. I'm gonna just little bit, little bit clean underneath. Now I'm going to use Estee Lauder Double Ended Eyeliner here. It's a cream color here. It's a black color. Black color I'm going to underneath, use underneath my low lashes right here. And I'm going to apply between my lashes. After applying black eyeliner, I always like to use a little bit Q-tip and I go one more time underneath. Why? Because so many times when I do between my lashes a waterline on the top, sometimes this black eyeliner or brown eyeliner will be in the bottom right here and I do not want this. This is kind of I clean up and product just leaving it's go just truly between between my lashes and after one two minutes i'm gonna use this beautiful cream color underneath i really like this eyeliner it's soft it's a very good quality we're almost done i'm gonna use my finger i want put a little bit more this bright green color on the center or we'll say in the corner of my eyes colors absorb my skin absorbing color and it's not intense looks like i think will be but it's mean some colors intense some not even you see colors colors now i'm gonna use liquid eyeliner very close to my lashes and this look we're gonna finish with of course lancome uh, mascara primer and ma mascara I apply an eyeliner, liquid eyeliner from Stila Midnight, very, very close to my lash line. 
Okay, I'm gonna use primer from Lancome, mascara. I'm not gonna use today false lashes because I feel it can bring me more heaviness and age me. Sometimes um, just mascara and primer will work good. And again, this is hi-fi, yeah, five five. It's a beautiful palette. I do like this application, how eyeshadow looks on me. And let's finish this. My makeup it looks great. I just little bit pale. Let's put my favorite highlighter from MAC and it's three different palettes. This is the lightest one and I'm gonna use this beautiful like a pinky highlighter on my cheek and up and then we're gonna use a blush but we're actually not gonna use blush. We're gonna use our eyeshadow palette for the blush. Like I always say, no one woman not pretty. We just need little bit, little bit makeup. And again, this is eyeshadow. They all look like, ah, oh, but they look pretty. Wow, right? <laughs> Yes, this palette have a beautiful pink color and it's like red coral. Let's use this pink color as my blush. It is pretty. You know, I have a big blending brush and I want my eyes a little bit even more pop. We're gonna use this beautiful pink color. Then I'm gonna use my hand. I like to use my hand a lot and I kind of like removing product. It's not too much. It's very, very little. And I'm just gonna apply right here where is my middle color. You see, just a little bit up right here above this green. And my blush and my eyes now, it's connected. And now it's time to finish this look. I'm gonna use for my lips, Dragon Girl Matte Lip Lipstick and Lip Liner together from NARS. It's a bright, bright pink color. My makeup, it's done. What do you think, girls? I think it's a perfect, perfect, summer summer look hello colors yes high five such a beautiful palette i will say for makeup artists or if you sometimes born of red burgundy or brown or gray color it's good to have something like this right okay subscribe my youtube channel and love you more than ice cream bye everybody